fun they had. Before we read and understand this chapter, let me tell you something about the author Isaac Asimov. He was a prolific American writer and biochemist, known for his works in science fiction and popular science, including the Foundation series and I, Robert. So, he was such a person who have the uh, uh, future thinking and the thought of machines. This story, the fun they had, would take us to the world of the future where computers will play a major role. Major role means many things the computer present also we are experiencing that the computers are doing for us okay so let yourself okay put yourself and imagine your school and with the future school and the classroom and make yourself okay in the position that you are dreaming then only you will enjoy this chapter and uh, the future classroom that is introduced to few characters by Asimov. Here you will understand the ideas of virtual reality and virtual classroom. So the term virtual reality refers to a reality created by computer softwares and a virtual classroom is not a real classroom but one where learning is provided through computer software or the internet that we are using today more you would know about what a robot is and what the robot can do and what a robotic teacher would be like before you read you must always go through each and every word of the chapter so the story we shall read is set in the future so students you should keep yourself imagine yourself though you are at present but make yourself that you are in future when books and schools as we know now them will perhaps not exist how will children study them the diagram below may give you some ideas see the diagram here and uh, just try to remember this is learning through computers that uh, at present also we are uh, <clears throat> using these things these machines for taking out the references or right now only you are just listening that is also a virtual through videos clips reels right so second robotic teacher do you see this the person the image this one it is a robotic teacher made but what is missing there only life is missing there right comparing with the human teacher this is material teacher but excellent we can say not excellent everything it is well defined and developed but comparing with the real teacher real teacher will become the best because this is only coded languages and according to that coding it functions that is called a robotic teacher now next you will see this virtual classroom so little girl okay you will see little girl this is uh, Margie will say in the story and this boy little boy he is Tommy <coughs> and moving e text that means we are seeing here okay on the desktop of computer when the screen opens or display as you will be seeing this video that is also a okay example of virtual classroom Uh, these things you uh, the teacher should be discussing or in the classroom 
in the real classroom it should take place okay so try to enjoy yourself think about this also just read but uh, i will just straight away move forward with the topic and the explanation uh, paragraph by paragraph first paragraph margie even wrote about it that night in her diary remember that night wrote and diary so margie was writing her diary so you should know the format of diary because writing skill is also rem uh, you should remember <clears throat> how to write a diary on the page had it 7th may 2157 so what was the date 17th may 2157 she wrote where on her diary today whatever the experience she had okay today tommy found a real book so on that date 17th may 2157 in her diary she started with this sentence today tommy her friend okay tommy found a real book it was a very old book margie's grandfather once said that when she, he was a little boy his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper just like you are using the textbooks in the in your real classrooms so those printed textbooks or printed things are she is recalling she the, the story is in the future that is 2157 okay and she is uh, from future okay to the past she is thinking in the story so you should remember that you are in the future and from the future point of view you are thinking in the present right so don't get confused here so she remembered that uh, her grandfather used to tell him about okay the time when all the stories were printed on the paper <clears throat> so in this passage margie is writing in her diary about something surprising that had happened her friend tommy found a real old fashioned book this book was made of paper with words printed on its pages margie finds it's funny because she used to re reading on a screen where words move unlike in the old book where the words stay still on the page she's amazed that when they turned back to a previous page the words were exactly the same as before which is very difficult from how modern technology works in they turned the pages which were yellow and crinkly and it was sweet words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen you know and then when they turned back to the page before it had the same words on it that it had had when they read it the first time thinkingly here it means with many folds or lines so on the pages it was printed <clears throat> second paragraph G said Tommy, what a waste when you're though with the when when you're through with the book to just throw it away, I guess. Our television screen must have had a million books on it and it's good and plenty more. I wouldn't throw it away. Same with mine said margie she was 11 and hadn't seen as many telebooks as tommy had he was 13 she had she said where did you find it in my house he pointed without looking because 
he was busy reading in the attic. What's it about school? So here attic already given a space just below the roof used as a storeroom. So he said that I got from the storeroom. In this part just now, the story continues where Tommy thinks it's strange that once you finish reading a paper book, you can't reuse it. He compares it to their television screens, which can hold millions of books and you don't have to throw them away. Margie's agrees with him but admits she hasn't read as many telly books as Tommy because she's younger. That means age-wise Margie was 11 years old while Tommy was 13 years old. When Margie asked where Tommy found the book, he replied, it was in his attic and when she asks what it's about he says it about school third paragraph margie was scornful school what's there to write about school i hate school Margie always hated school, but now she hated it more than ever. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in ge geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. County inspector here means mechanical teacher and uh, scornful you can see here contemptuous showing you think something is worthless so already i have highlighted for your easy understanding about the meaning as you watch this video and listen to the explanation both of you you should have the uh, observation and eye contact to the words also in this passage, just now as we have listened, Margie is upset because Tommy's book is about school and she doesn't like school at all. She especially dislikes her current experience with school where she is taught by a mechanical teacher, a robot like machine. Lately, the teacher has been giving her difficult geography test and she's been doing very poorly. This has made her hate the school even more and her mother was so worried that she called the county inspector to check what was wrong with the mechanical teacher. Paragraph 4. He was a round little man it is the description of the county inspector. He was a round little man with red face and a whole box of tools with the dials and wires. He smiled at Margie and gave her an apple, then took the teacher apart. Margie had hoped he wouldn't know how to put it together again, but he knew how all right and after an hour or so, there it was again, large and black and ugly with a big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked. That wasn't so bad. The part Margie hated most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers. She always had to write them out to push to she always she always had to write them out in a punch code that means using keyboards they had they made 
her learn when he was six years old and the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time. So, in this passage or in this part of the story, the county inspector comes to fix Margie's mechanical teacher. He is a small friendly man with a red face carrying tools to repair the machine. Margie had secretly hoped he wouldn't be able to fix it, but he did easily. After an hour, the mechanical teacher was back to normal. Margie didn't mind the lesson being shown on the screen, but what she really hated was the slot where she had to submit her homework and test. She had to write them using a special punch code, which she learned when she was six years of age. And the teacher would grade her work instantly, very quickly. Five parag fifth paragraph. The inspector had smiled after he was finished and patted Margie's head, he said to her mother, it's not the little girl's fault, Mr. Jones. So, mother name of Mar Margie is Mrs. Jones. I think the geography sector was geared a little too quick, fixed, that means here, okay, adjusted to a particular standard or level. Those things happen sometimes. I've slowed it up to an average 10-year level. Actually, the overall pattern of her progress is quite satisfactory. And he patted Margie's head again. Margie was disappointed. She had been hoping they would take the teacher away altogether. They had once taken Tommy's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely. So she said to Tommy, why would anyone write about school? In this passage, after fixing the mechanical teacher, the county inspector reassures Margie's mother that the problem wasn't Margie's fault. The geography lessons had been set too fast for her age, so he adjusted them to match a 10 years old level. He tells her mother that Margie's overall progress is actually good. Despite this, Margie is disappointed because she was hoping the teacher would be taken away like when Tommy's teacher had been removed for a month due to a malfunction of the history, history section. She's still frustrated. She wonders aloud why anyone would write about school. Sixth paragraph. Tommy looked at her with very superior eyes because it's not our kind of school stupid this is the old kind of school that they had hundreds and hundreds of years ago he added loftily pronouncing the word carefully centuries ago margie was hurt well i don't know what kind of school they had all that time ago she read the book over his shoulder for a while, then said, anyway, they had a teacher, okay? So, here is the image that is showing here, the real classroom along with the teacher that you are experiencing now, okay? But they were in the future. So, both of them, they were discussing in the future. So, in this part, Tommy explains to Margie that the books is about a different kind of school, one that existed hundreds of years ago, which makes it very different from their modern schools. He says this in a superior, known-it-all way, 
which hurts Margie. Sure, they had a teacher, but it wasn't a regular teacher. It was a man, that means human. A man? How could a man be a teacher? Well, he just told the boys and girls things and gave them homework and asked them questions. She admits she doesn't know much about schools from the past as she read uh, as she reads over her shoulder she points out that even back then they had teachers tommy clarifies that the teachers in the past weren't machines like in their time they were actual people they were actual people margie is surprised and confused by the idea of a human being a teacher as she is only familiar with mechanical teachers paragraph 7 the word meaning are highlighted and uh, you can just easily read and understand okay so chap uh, paragraph 7 a man isn't smart enough sure he is my father knows as much as my teacher. He knows, knows almost as much. I betcha Margie wasn't prepared to spew that. She said, it wouldn't want a strange man in my house to teach me. Tommy screamed, well, you don't know much, Margie. Didn't live in the house. They had a special building, and all the kids went there. And all the kids were, if they were the same age. Archie is surprised and skeptical about the idea of a human teacher. She believes a man wouldn't be smart enough to teach. But Tommy argues that human teachers were capable, and even suggests that his father knows almost as much as their mechanical teachers margie still unsure she says wouldn't want a strange man in her house to teach her tommy laughs at this and explain that in the old days teachers didn't come to students homes instead children went to a special building called a school where they learned together he also tells her that Kids learned the same things if they were the same age. But my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl it teaches and that each kid has to be taught differently. Just the same they didn't do it that way then. If you don't like it, you don't have to read the book. I didn't say I didn't like it. Margie said quickly she wanted to read about those funny books. They weren't even half finished when Margie's mother called Margie School. Margie looked up. Not yet, Mama. Now, said Mrs. Jones, and it's probably time for Tommy too. Margie said to Tommy, can I read the book some more with you after school? In this passage, Margie argues that teachers would be adjusted to fit the needs of each individual student. As her mother has told her, However, Tommy insists that in the past, teachers didn't tailor their lesson that way. He tells Margie that if she doesn't like it, she doesn't have to read the book. Which surprises Margie because she actually wants to read about those old-fashioned schools. Just then, Margie's mother calls her for school and Margie protests that she's not ready yet, but her mother insists that it's time to go before heading off to school. Margie's, Margie asks Tommy if she can read more of the book with him after school. Maybe, he said, 
Nun Clang Clangly. Maybe he said Nun Clangly. He walked away whistling the dusty old book tucked beneath his arm. Margie went into the schoolroom. It was right next to her bedroom, and the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her. It was always on at the same time every day except Saturday and Sunday. Because her mother and little girls learned better if they learned at regular hours. The screen was lit up and it said, Today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fraction. Please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot. In this passage, Tommy casually replies that maybe they can read the book together later and walks away happily with the old book under his arm. Margie then goes into her schoolroom, which is right next to her bedroom. The mechanical teacher is already on and ready for her as it always is is at the same time each day except on weekends, that is Saturday and Sunday. Her mother believes that having a regular schedule helps girls learn better. When Margie enters, the screen of the mechanical teacher lights up and prompts her to start the day's arithmetic lesson on adding proper fractions, instructing her to insert her homework from the previous day into the slot. 10. Margie did, it, did so with a sigh. She was thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. All the kids from the whole neighborhood came laughing and shouting in the schoolyard, sitting together in the classroom, going home together at the end of the day. They learned the same things so they could help one another with the homework and talk about it. And the teachers were people. The mechanical teacher was finishing on the screen. The mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen when we add fractions, half and so. Machi was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days. She was thinking about the fun they had. So finally, student, in this passage, Mag Maggie, Margie, Margie sighs as she follows the mechanical teacher's instruction while she's supposed to focus on an arithmetic lesson about adding fractions. Her mind drifts to thoughts about old-fashioned schools from the time of her grandfather's grandfather, she imagines a lively schoolyard filled with kids from the neighborhood laughing and playing together, learning in the same classes with a mechanical teacher. She pictures real teachers who interacted with the students. As the mechanical teacher continues to display the lesson on the screen, Margie longs for the fun and commemorate that children must have enjoyed days so this is all about the fun they had and what the lesson the moral that you will be getting from here is that how good can be the use of technology and how bad can be the use of technology both things are present in the use of technology so it depends on us that how we should use the technology so this is all for today. We'll proceed in the next uh, discussion, uh, which is from the poem that is The Road Not Taken. Till then, thank you.